Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lent, that call from the Holy Spirit to go out into the desert, to sacrifice, to draw closer to Jesus, to renew ourselves, and to become that best disciple that we can be by giving things up, by adding extra things to our lives, and treating this season, these six weeks approximately, differently than the rest of the year. I know that we all are acutely aware that Ash Wednesday falls on St. Valentine's Day. So automatically there are the questions, can we be dispensed from our Ash Wednesday observances? The answer to that question is no. But the reality is, is that if you truly want to celebrate your relationships, that the best way to do that is by the true spirit of St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine was a bishop. He was a man who was passionate about sharing his faith in Jesus. He influenced people all around him. One high-ranking official in the Roman government was asking him, if you could heal my blind daughter, if you can make that happen, I'll do anything you ask me to do. Well, the bishop, Valentine, is able, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to bring healing to that girl, and she's able to see. And immediately, the man says, well, what, can I, what should I do? I'll do anything you ask. And he says, Valentine says to him, smash all the idols in your house and worship the Lord Jesus. And he does that. And of course, his fame and the attraction to Valentine is there, even reaching the Emperor Claudius. To make a long story short, it got to the point where Claudius would say to him, you have to either recant on your Christian faith or you will die. And Valentine chose to die. The true essence of St. Valentine's Day links up with what we are doing with Ash Wednesday. Husbands, if you truly want to love your wives and to show your affection for them, and wives the same for your husbands, then go to Mass on Ash Wednesday. Receive ashes on your forehead and pray for the ability to be the best spouse that you can be. Sacrifice, pouring ourselves out, uniting ourselves to Jesus, those things are all connected to the true essence of St. Valentine's Day. We don't have to have Ash Wednesday and St. Valentine's Day clashing. Let's submit to the direction of the church, celebrate St. Valentine's Day as it relates to the great love and sacrifice of our Lord Jesus.